Hello, this is a quick video on showing the trapezoid edge cube, uh, the parts, and how it assembles. Uh, let's go over the parts first of all. We've got eight of these corner pieces uh, right here. We've got six of these short edges, the really small edge pieces. There are two unique edge, which, which it gets its name from, trapezoid edges. Uh, and then there are four corner pieces, uh, which are edge pieces, but they go on the, the the four corners of the cube. Uh, the core consists of six pieces that are in the center and then the caps. There are four caps that are like these I have my fingers on here and then there are two caps that are opposite each other which are here. Uh, to apply the caps they simply slide on like this. You can get access to the screws and you can just slide those right on and they will never pull off because uh, once the cube is assembled they're, they're on perfect. Uh, for finishing the parts, I've done almost nothing with the inner inner core pieces on this particular one. Uh, take off any any extra roughness that you can get to on, on the, the inner surfaces here. Uh, the caps, I've gone ahead and smoothed everywhere where they're visual. Uh, anywhere you are going to have a sticker, you will need to sand and get it smooth. Uh, work on the edges, the round, so you get rid of any of the 3D printed lines. Uh, and do that for each of each of these pieces. <clears throat> for these corner pieces, the sticker side will actually be good because that was printed on the glass. <clears throat> but you can go ahead and sand smooth uh, this surface here, where another sticker will be. Again, your your edges here, and then anywhere uh, where contact will be made inside. This will still be a little bit rough, but try to get rid of any extra uh, extra bumps or anything from the printing process. These tiny edges, there'll be very little for you to do. Again, make make the inside edges here and here uh, nice and smooth. You'll be able to do a little bit here on the sides uh, and this surface will already be smooth from the from the print process. Uh, I've gone ahead and sanded a, a little bit of a roundness around the around the edge here as well. On this cube, uh, same as same as before. Make sure you get all these surfaces smooth, where stickers are going to go. Uh, round your edges. Uh, try to get rid of as much as possible of the printing process. Uh, inside, again, less important, but where it's going to make contact here and here, make sure those areas are smooth. And the the large trapezoid edge is going to be the same, uh, smooth here, smooth here. Anywhere a sticker is going to be, make sure it's nice and smooth. So uh, let me show you assembly. <clears throat> what I do is uh, turn your centers here so you get uh, this X shape right here. And you're going to have yellows up and whites up. If you don't have your stickers on, you may not have that advantage. Uh, and then I start with the long edges. And you can just insert a long edge here like that. And then you'll want to do the same thing on the other side. And then now, either your white or your yellow little piece here. Uh, here's my yellow one. So I kind of go up and over like this. Now I'm going to put in these two pieces here on the center. <clears throat> if I can find one. There we go. And so what you want to do is fit that onto this, flip it into, oops, flip it into position like this, and on the other one. So once you have that base, it's a lot easier to put the rest of the cube together. Corners will go in next, and I want to find my yellow ones. So I'm going to drop each of them in. Here's the orange one. One more. There we go. OK. 
Okay, at this point you've got your bottom your bottom layer in all in place. Now around all the edges there will be these really small pieces that will be just a solid color of the of the side. So here's a green and uh, just snap right in. Orange. Blue. Two layers. <clears throat> now the top, we'll put some corners in place. And you'll get you'll get to this, and then slide in your top center piece here, which is which is actually a, an edge. And the rest should be fairly straightforward here. We'll put in a corner, and we'll put in a corner, and there we go. The way it works, it'll turn on this axis. It will not turn this way. It will not turn this way until you offset by 45 degrees. And now you can go ahead and turn these uh, so you can start to see. Um, how it looks. There's a little bit of jam up. Uh, some of that's the mechanism itself. Some of it is just the nature of the uh, the shape mod cube. If you don't have your layers aligned quite right, uh, it, it's a little tough going sometimes. Um, so there you have it. I'll do another video that's a solve video later. Uh, there you go. Thank you.